March! Huh? Huh? The Doomsday Beast. It's really here. Get down here! Uh, careful, everyone! Revealed in an instant, this sanctuary is but a vision! Right! Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Move carefully. machinations. One at a time! You won't get away! interest in stoking conflict. don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception.
clemency? Never heard of it. Attack now. Revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. See? Never heard of it. Check 
out this awesome move! The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Great! Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. You won't get away! Okay now. Let's talk somewhere else. Is this the space station? Hello there. Not bad. It would have been even better if you didn't faint, but thanks to you, the Doomsday Beast was as tame as a kitten. It had no temper at all. Yes, and you are the hero. Get up when you feel better. Himeko wants you to go find her. I have something to do, so I won't go with you, alright? By the way, we should exchange beacons. If you get lost or something, feel free to text me. Okay, off I go. Bye! Choice isn't as elusive as it seems. You're awake. I had Marge and Dan Hung stay by the Express to keep an eye on things. It's almost time. She should be arriving any moment now. Well, I've only been gone, what, a few months? And the space station is already in this state? Welcome back, Herda. This is the true master of the space station. Genius Society number 83, Herda. At least give me a proper introduction. 
Genius Society number 83? Of all my outstanding achievements, that's what you want to mention? What you're seeing here is one of my puppets. I'm using her to talk to you. So, this little twerp has the Stellaron now? Huh. Hmm. I'll have to take a good look. Hmm. Truly amazing! I built a whole space station just to contain this unactivated Stellaron and keep the blue from disaster. Yet someone was able to achieve that with this little twerp's body? How did they do it? Moreover, the Stellaron is still very stable in his body. You're right! This little one's body truly is strange. All right, I got it. But I'm still gonna call you Little Twerp. The space in my brain is too valuable to store people's names. Oh, well, thanks for remembering my name then. That's different. We have business with each other. Um, what was your name again? Uh, uh, forget it. But let's focus on the one who can store a Stellaron in their body. Can I bring him in for some research? That's not up to me to decide. You can ask him yourself. Study you, of course. Your body contains a Stellaron, which in some sense is no different than storing a bomb. Who knows what might happen? Maybe it'll blow you to bits someday. You should be grateful that this genius is willing to help you out. I still have some interest now, but once that's gone, I'm not studying you even if you beg me. I'm very interested now. So there's almost nothing I won't accommodate. A Stellaron in your body? How interesting is that? Be grateful that I'm offering to help you out. This is a service even the IPC can't buy. You understand now? Herda wants you to stay in her space station. Well, I'm going to have to modify your wording here. This little twerp can only stay temporarily until the research is done. Or maybe I'll lose interest halfway through and they can just beat it. And after that? <laughs> Not my problem. <sighs> You also have another option. The Astral Express. If you want, you can leave with us. The Express has its fair share of experiences with Stellarons. The thing you're worried about and the answers we're looking for are one and the same. Besides, we can come back any time to let her to conduct her research. She's absolutely fascinated now. Hmm. Well, works for me. Keeps this subject fresh, too. And that way... I won't need to keep worrying about this little twerp all the time. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, give it some good thought. Just remember to come back often. Make an appointment in advance with Asta or Arlen so I can make time to study you. There's no need to rush into this, Herda. Asta's in the master control zone. Let's let him have a talk with Asta first and decide for himself. I'll be waiting for you on the platform. It's no hurry if you still have things to do or someone to see. Come find me when you've made your decision. The Express has been a lifeline. Time to return the... Hey, there 
there you are. I haven't moved. What you're seeing is one of my remote-controlled puppets. They're all over the station. I just connect to one wherever I am needed. Enough chit-chat. I am working on a big project with a few colleagues. If we succeed, it will answer the ultimate question that's been puzzling us for thousands of amber eras. The truth about eons. Eons. Think about it. What mystical existences. Some eons used to be ordinary humans like you and me. But somehow they managed to obtain power beyond our imagination. They are mysterious, powerful, silent, and terrifying. It's hard to explain all the mysteries surrounding them. How were they created? Why were they created? What were they created for? Have you ever thought about these questions? Well, indeed, it's got nothing to do with you, but we need you. Give me some time. I'll make this worthwhile for you, too. The four geniuses of the society wrote a program together. You see the big machine in the office? That machine contains a universe. Just like the universe we live in, but it's more streamlined and customized. I call it the Metaverse. Oh, really? That's what my partner said as well. Fine. I am a team player. Then let's call it the Simulated Universe. Now go and experience it for yourself. I will guide you in the Simulated Universe to make sure nothing happens to you. I'll even give you a substantial reward. Yes! Just stand there, and the computer will read your brainwaves, then automatically generate an immersive simulated experience. But a vision! Watch this! Check out this awesome 
move. Better up. Uh, rules are made to be broken. We need a strategy. This sanctuary is but efficient! Stay right there while I get 
give you a present! this news to Steven right away. Don't just stand there. Go in and see if you can get a few more words out of them or something. Oh, you're right. I got too excited. Sorry. You did very well. If you don't mind, could you please go in for another test? <laughs> I've upgraded the simulated universe. It now has more memory and can support longer sessions. The last round must have been pretty boring. I'll get Steven to add a few more interesting things. This part was made specifically with you in mind. Ready to have some fun? <laughs> well, Steven said the same thing. I don't really get fun, but whatever. What's more important is that the rewards will also increase. In a nutshell, this is a long scheduled version update with longer gameplay, more content, better rewards, and a more bizarre difficulty curve. So get ready and prepare to get back into the simulated universe. I'll help you out some more. Don't worry.
It's getting late. Where to now? So, have you thought things through? Hmm? Go ahead, speak your mind. As always, to follow in the footsteps of Akivili. Sometimes we stop on other worlds and we'll continue to do so. There are countless next stops in the galaxy. I love the vast reaches of space, and the Express does too. I want to seek out new worlds, and the Express wants to return to its former path. <laughs> I was ready ages ago. I've been here so many times before, it should have just been an ordinary trip for me. But everything's not so ordinary anymore, is it? Walking the same path over and over will never be the same. There will always be something new. That's the meaning of trailblazing. Because you're different. Well, that might be the biggest reason. It's not the only one. I think you need a chance. A chance to discover just how different you really are from everyone else. Everybody keeps telling you how special you are and how you have a Stellaron inside you. But that's already plain as day to you. And no matter who tells you, be it me or Herda or anybody, it's not the same thing as feeling it yourself. You have to experience enough to know if you've gained or lost anything because of the Stellaron, and to know who you really are. Learn to control the Stellaron, and then you can control your destiny. The Stellaron might still be an enigma, but the fact of the matter is, it's a part of you. And you have to embrace this before you can move forward into the future. <laughs> There's no need to be so formal. You helped us defeat that big fella anyway. Plus, if we keep making pleasantries, we'll waste a whole day. You've done me a huge favor by defending the space station from the Antimatter Legion. And know that while Herda may not admit it, she owes me one. She won't refuse me if I ask for a favor in return. And it's probably not too much to ask for a rare item from the space station, right? How about we continue talking on the express? I'll make you a cup of coffee. My special blend. So, have you thought things through? Then come with me. Hey, you over there looking dumbfounded. Yes, Pom Pom's talking to you. Himiko told Pom Pom about your situation. Now listen up. Pom Pom will only say this once. Pom Pom's sure there have been lots of people telling you how special you are lately. But this is the Astral Express, and everyone on here has their secrets. Since you chose to board, you can abide by the rules. You're not the only special one here. You'd best remember that. I'm Pom Pom, the conductor. Just come find me if you have any trouble.
I'll be waiting. 